Hello and welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. This is Ben Olson. With me is Nathan Fox. Today on the show, we have an email from B. I'll read this. Hi, guys. Okay, I've been listening to the podcast for about a month now and canceled my 7 aid subscription and subsequently signed up for the LSAT Demon Basic just the other day. Even just taking advice from the podcast, my LR time sections went from about 15 out of 25 to 23 out of 25. Wow. Hmm, that's awesome. Anyway, I'm a rising senior at a relatively good school, top 25 public school, and I currently have a 3.73 GPA. I obviously plan to apply myself and do my best to get a 4.0 next semester, though that would only bring up my GPA to about 3.76. Yeah, there's not a lot you can do to bring up your GPA when you're a junior or senior in college. It's just real hard. You need to be getting A's from the very beginning of college. Even in high school, if you take AP classes and stuff, you got to be getting A's in those classes. But uh, yeah, still, you but know, 3.76 isn't bad. It's not bad. And don't give up. I mean, you can always write an addendum that says, look at my last two years of school or a year or something. And this is the GPA I have now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it illustrates, right, how much effort you can put into your GPA and how little it will pay off versus how much effort you can put into the LSAT Oh, yeah, and how much that could pay off. Yeah. Anyways, B writes, additionally, my school has an internship program for credit available in the spring at the school's legal office. I do not currently have any legal internships under my belt. So this would no doubt look good on a resume. Uh, according to who? <laughs> yeah. Uh, something impressive looks good on a resume. It does not have to be a legal internship. By the way, internships are often not impressive. No, this internship sounds like bullshit. It's, a, it's yeah. an internship for credit rather than pay. Yeah. You know, what is this? Like 10 weeks working in some law office, doing, making copies? I don't, that's, I, I don't, I don't think that's going to move the needle at all. If you're doing this in order to get experience, great. If you're doing this for your application, it seems like a waste of time. Oh, well, you, I was going to say, yeah. if you're mm -hmm. doing it because you actually think you might want to work in this type of law and you're going to learn, you know, you're going to explore, um, civil litigation. Great. Or if you're doing this to check out whether you think you would like to work in law. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Great. Really great. That's why you should be doing this to figure out whether this is really something you want to do with your yeah. career. Yeah. But doing it for like tick a box to put it on a resume, very misguided. It's not going to move the needle for law school admissions. Yeah. Okay, so B continues. However, as it is a full-time internship, I would have to choose between that or taking classes. It just so happens that the internship is exactly the number of credits I need in order to graduate, though it obviously won't come with any letter grading, meaning it won't, meaning it won't help or hurt my GPA. <laughs> None of this is I, obvious. B keeps saying, obviously, uh, none of this, what? Why, what do you mean obviously not going to count <laughs> like the probably different rules at different schools so uh anyway uh, okay what what's the point she's trying to decide whether to take the do the internship or, do, or help yeah. or work on her grades a little bit yeah if i decided if i decided not to take the internship and instead take classes getting a 4.0 in both semesters of my senior year would only bring me up to a 3.79 wow we're really dealing with some small numbers here right my question is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> would law schools prefer someone with a 376 and a law related internship or a 379 and no internship I don't know if we've ever gone that granular before. No. I'm having trouble weighing out the benefits and drawbacks of each of in definitive <laughs> terms. Thank you all for everything you do. Okay, B, first, thank you for writing in. Yes. Um, I think you are obsessing about things that don't matter. Yes. I would much rather you take this internship because it sounds interesting and you want to decide whether what university related legal issues are something you want to pursue if it doesn't sound interesting or you're 
are really interested in some other area of law. Yeah. I, I don't know if I would waste time with this. I don't even know if I would, I guess you sounds like you need to take classes because you don't have enough credits. Right. Um, yeah. Taking B classes that interest to... you would be more interesting. Yeah. yeah. B needs to graduate. So, I mean, if you take classes, you need to get A's in those classes. If you do the internship and it's ungraded, that's great. It doesn't matter. Do which one is going to make you happier. If this internship seems like an interesting opportunity to learn about the, the legal field that you might go into, great. Yeah. Don't even consider for a second its impact on law school admissions. There is an elephant in the room here, which B has not been discussing very much since the first paragraph. Yeah, <laughs> the elephant right. in the room is the LSAT. That's the one yeah. thing that, like B, you should be structuring your whole life around the LSAT, really. I, I mean, not, I say that not as an LSAT. Zero point but... <laughs> zero three right. GPA points. Or be some... focusing on dumb short-term internship that's not gonna like no one's gonna care about that at all i mean you yeah. might care about it b and i'm not saying it's not a real learning experience for you if it is then yeah do that but if it's just a resume line item don't that seems like a waste of time like you're basically giving free labor to these law firms for you're gonna get nothing out of it um then don't do it but the LSAT is like so, so important. I mean, you know, if, if you, you should be structuring your whole schedule around how do I bring my best hour or two every day to my law school studies or my, my LSAT studies, how do I get the very best LSAT score I can? Cause that's the thing that the law schools are going to actually care about. Yeah. You can't do that much about your GPA. I mean, 3.76. Great whether that was a 3.73 or a 3.79 still roughly great. I mean, it's all the same. I, I don't, yeah. that's not, I mean, come on, Ben, what do you think? Like is the difference between a 3.73 and a 3.79 is that worth one LSAT point? I mean, that's the entire range by the way of her GPA. Like she's working on it coming up. Yeah. I don't think I don't I, I don't think it is. I don't think it's gonna matter. Maybe like may, maybe one. Well, maybe yeah. Half. So compare two candidates, right? 3.73 yeah. and a 170 against a 3.79 and a 169. I'd rather have the 170. I think so too. I mean, it, it, or it's a toss-up. Yeah. <laughs> so here's one thing. If you if you address the elephant in the room, which is the LSAT then maybe your sh decision should be based on which is going to give you the most time to yeah. improve your score. If you're still working on your score during this internship, maybe a full-time internship is not the option. Granted, or, it seems low stress, right? Because it's just an internship. If all you're doing is literally making copies and you're not going to get a grade, so it's not going to hurt your grades, you're going to get you the credits focus. that you need to graduate. Yeah. If you can actually study at work, then maybe the internship is better or draw some boundaries around it. Well, also people, I think, don't realize that setting boundaries in the right way can actually right. garner, garner respect. No, but if you right. go there and you're like, Hey, look, I'm studying for the LSAT. This is really important to me. I'll make sure to get all my shit done by 6 PM or 5 PM or whatever. Um, but I gotta, I gotta check out and what, what can I do to make this happen? And yeah. they're like, okay, uh, wow, this person's like serious. Oh, not we should like give this... half of your work to someone else. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, this person's doing really good work. They're an asset for us. They value yeah. their own time. They know their own limitations. Great. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. We were giving you, we were shitting on you with all these extra projects that probably don't even need to be done. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, don't, don't worry about that. What can we do to help you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you went in and said, no, I'm not doing everything you in this whole office cool well thanks for writing in b i hope that was helpful and good luck that was elsa demon daily thanks for listening